It's an issue facing millions of drug users and their families. But what can be done to stop the opioid epidemic facing our country? Well, a few Arklatex areas are joining a class action lawsuit of more than 200 cities and counties. They're all suing the manufacturers and distributors of the opioid drugs. KTBS 3's Andrea Finney joins us live in studio with the details on this lawsuit and how it could help. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. Bowie and Harrison counties in Texas, Miller County in Arkansas, and the city of Shreveport have all joined a class action lawsuit. The hope to reduce the abuse of opioid painkillers. This is not a new thing. The, the opioid problem has been around for quite some time, um, but it, it's now reached epidemic proportions. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that each day 91 Americans die from overdosing on opioids. So this lawsuit has two goals. Governments want to try to stop the flooding of these pills into communities, and they also want to seek compensation to help plaintiffs recoup money lost fighting the epidemic. Many of the lawsuits also hope to force drug makers to change their marketing tactics, which they argue are deceptive, believing drug makers need to make it abundantly clear just how addictive these pills can be. A few weeks ago in December, Shreveport City Council approved the final passage of a resolution authorizing a retainer agreement with Napoli Scholfnick PLLC and Kenneth M. Carter APLC that will serve as joint outside legal counsel in the opioid lawsuit. Nate Miller County also followed suit and joined the fight about a week ago. Something needs to be done, Andrea. We're talking mm -hmm. tens of millions of people still on these opioid drugs and addicted to them. We appreciate that live update. Hopefully they get some relief. In October of 2017, President Donald Trump declared the opioid epidemic a public health emergency but no additional funding has been made available for states and localities to deal with it. 